Uh, welcome to Show Studio uh, in a new segment that I believe is called Post, um, which has just been sprung on me. So I'm going to I'm going to interpret it how I need to. Um, we're going to ask a little succinct question about um, the Kiko show that we've just reviewed, and I think the bit that I was most interested in the in the panel that we just had was this question of who Kiko Kostadinov's customer is, um, and I'm going to throw that to my panelists and perhaps start with you since it was your question. Yeah, which implies that I might not have an answer. <laughs> yeah, even better. <laughs> so I guess I asked it because I'm, I'm quite intrigued by where it, it sits in this thing between it's kind of very well-made, tailored clothing, it's quite technical, there is a sportswear element to it, at least with the trainers and the ASIC stuff, so I think there must be, yeah, there must be people who like to collect clothes, um, people with enough money to buy them, maybe, but I think there, it's quite a young, I imagine it's quite a young customer. Um, I believe he has a very strong customer base in Japan. And what I think is quite interesting that I, so I saw yesterday that there's a jumper being resold for like five grand. So there's a resale culture there, which implies something streetwear related to me, which is quite interesting. Lovely, Ria. Um, for me, it's the customer that knows their worth, in a sense. Ooh. So it's a customer that's not necessarily obsessed with fashion or the kind of glory and charade that comes around streetwear today. It's the customer that is happy within themselves and what they're wearing and isn't really concerned about what the observer's thinking about them, because they're good, basically. That's very uplifting. That was really good. That was, yeah. that was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay Tom, that. it's customers and not that kind of want to have fun with fashion, actually. I, I like, I think with Kiko, he makes interesting, like, colorful tailoring. And I think that's, you know, it kind of, I don't know, I think that there's, you know, you can kind of enjoy and there's no, like, you know, you can just enjoy, yeah. For me, it's the sort of customer that will pay 800 pounds for a pair of Prada trousers because they know they're going to get quality, but also because he did the Stussy stuff before his graduate collection, it's appealing to kids that are not into streetwear, but higher, that kind of old Yoji, old Com, old Junior, that kind of stuff. Um, so he's brought in another kind of fan base from doing the Stussy stuff, because that's like the perfect mix between not necessarily high-end clothing, but um, like, just fashion and mixing it with streetwear. Yeah. And I guess I would add that um, I think it's, he's just got a very smart customer who, who really cares about clothes in quite a, a sincere way. Yes, mm. that's something I completely neglected to add. I was talking about demographics and economics and stuff, <laughs> but actually yeah, people really love something that's been incredibly thoroughly thought through yeah. by yeah. someone intelligent and who just is Appreciate what they do. Yeah. 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 